Hey love bugs, it's Roz. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs my growing extended beautiful family as always thank you for the love and support it is truly truly appreciated so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have uh been watching my videos for a while i have not already please drop a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just give a good vibe please give a thumbs up and you know go ahead and share it'll be greatly appreciated and anybody um just needing you know uh you know extra vibes the upliftment you know persistence you know just keep on continuing to move forward you know things are getting really shaky right now and it's probably feeling a lot heavier than usual but just keep on allowing yourself to go so i'm sending so much love light and calmness towards your life and whatever alignment that you need to have or enlightenment that you need i'm sending that towards you a million times fold and anybody who is sitting coming up here with nefarious type of vibration negative you know low low frequency stuff everything is here is strongly protected and divinely protected heavily guided and strongly strongly loved so whatever you're trying to do and you're trying to you know block destroy distract whatever part ways hey it's all going back to you 20 million times fold uh, the video I'm doing today is called twin flame 101 you're the forces that flow viciously uh, that you will leave many speechless. You made a swift, uh, you made a shift that they weren't expecting. And it's true. A lot of times when you start choosing yourself, it's something that people weren't expecting you to do. If you're that type of person that always puts people's needs before your own and you're seeing that is not, you know, that that's always leaving you a lacking of when it comes to yourself. It's like when you're always pouring in other people's cup and then when you finally need something to drink, you, you, you're starving, you know, you're, you're parched, you know, you, different things like that. And it comes to that time where you have to start choosing yourself, you know, the, you, you've you been learning a lot for the last few years. Who's your friends, who's your family, who loves you, who don't, who is all about self, who is all about you. You know, they're nurturing you or people are trying to snatch and take from you. It's not, not always taking but never depositing, you know, and these are those different things where you know what, I'm going to start choosing me. I ain't got to make that announcement. I'm just going to go ahead and do that when I pull back my energy and I'm not being so giving. They're going to be looking at you like, what's wrong with you? You got this, 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 and that going on. No, it's not selfish for me to think of myself first. It's not selfish to think, you know, hey, it's time for me to do self-care. Because a lot of times it's hard to do that, you know, especially if you're that type of person that's really giving. Sometimes it can be hard for when people, hey, you want to hang out? Hey, hey you want to talk? Hey, you want to do this? And you're like, you really don't feel up to it. You're, you're portraying yourself. Even when you mean no and you keep saying yes, you have to be able to stop doing that. It's like, no, not right now. You know, it'll be different times. It's just like, spends all these heavy moons and stuff been going up and really want to, you know, stay away from doing videos, just being off towards myself, you know, you know, being able to wish people happy holidays, you know, and just stay off to myself. It's just like, I don't do the holiday thing. It'll be, you know, hey, happy, <laughs> happy turkey day, do whatever, whatever. You know, I just don't do the family thing. I don't feel family or in it, so I don't do the family thing. But um, just being able to allow myself to move forward, you know, you be when you making that shift to make those those vicious moves, where you you doing it for self, like bump that. I've been doing things for everybody else, and where has a lot of you know there have been a lot of people that's been reciprocating that with me, and I love that. But there have been a lot of people that's take take take, and I want to do this, and you know, you're not getting the same thing that you're pushing out. You know, it, it's something totally opposite. So it's just like okay, I'll just shut that mess down. You know, keep towards myself. I don't talk to you unless I have to. You know, I don't have to give you that same energy. Energy, but hey, I'm gonna stand my ground, speak in my power, and keep it moving. You know, and be doing like that. And it, it's like it, it's it's been a totally uh, 360. I've been doing a 360 a lot lately. You know that people are not expecting that, and I love that. I'm like I always love doing the unexpected, and you, you always, you know, cause it'll be a different time where I think it's funny where people feel like they know me better than I know myself, and it's like no, not this new one. You know, this new one is all about, you know, doing what's right for her. You know, I've seen how people are all doing what they can for themselves. And it, it, it made me very irate. You know, and I always used to ask people, if you were going through my situation, how would you be? How would you react? How would you respond if you, you I was doing the things you're doing to me? I could never get an answer. 
You know, because it was just like half of the people that are doing stuff to me wouldn't have been able to go as far as I have. You know, be moving like that because I would never do <laughs> people that way. I just couldn't. It's just not in my soul. I can do some very violating things, very foul things, foul things, and you know, and vulgar things. But it's just like it, it's not. I, I I see how karma can smack you real quick, especially when you knows you know better. You know, and every universe will be that one when you know you're one of them light ones, and we, we end up clapping back, and we'll be the first thing catching karma. Like, why don't you catch them other ones that's doing this mess? Because you knew better. You already knew what was going to happen. We told you not to do that, and then look what happened. You know, and it'll be those different things. But it's like now you're at that vibration where you're learning from all these different things that are happening on around you. You can really, you know, learn from these things. You can strengthen from these things. You can move fearlessly in these situations. You know, being able to allow yourself to know certain things don't need your attention. Certain things don't need a response to you. Certain things deserve your silence instead of speaking noise towards different things. But also within, within yourself, there's a lot of things you have to start blocking out. A lot of things we have to work hard on letting go. And now a lot of times when it, there's a lot of heart in it to it, there's a lot of emotions being involved, sometimes it's hard to be able to do that. But it's at that point, like, if it, this is worth it, I'm going to have to really get down packed on that. I need to really get very strict with myself, get very vicious with my own self. Because if you know you want something, you have to be in that mindset. There's too many people that don't want to see you rise. There's too many people that want to see you low. They want to be able to exit you out of, even out of your own blessing to that was sent for you they want to be able to do that so you need to go ahead and work 20 million times harder than the folks that's trying to block you from it and you have to get very strategic with that so that's a lot of times where you got to move in silence a lot of times where you're going to have to be um like I say, incognito. <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm like incognito and be like, okay, you, you can't be saying that all the time. But it'd be me. Well, shoot, I'm, you know, I'm part Negro, so I am be incognito. I sit to myself a lot. You know, I got too many, you know, surveillance cameras around me. So I have to be, you know, at that type, you know, be at that type of vibe where I got to do everything low key. You know, because I got too many different things that surround me trying to stop that. And it's just like, I had to be able to understand that, you know, when when different things is going in a way where they're clearly getting indications like you're not going to be a part of that person's journey or this is that time where things, that chapter is ended with that person, this person is trying to move on, you have to be able to set free and some people go, you know, they go numb and dumb for that, they don't want to hear that, like no, no it's not, <laughs> and you had to be able to say, okay, whatever it is, what it is, but I got to keep moving forward, I got to do what's right for me, you know, everybody's doing what's right for them, I'm making that swift shift that I got to do what's right for me. And I have to keep going. I have to keep moving. It was fun while it lasted. Now it's time for me to keep moving. And you have to be like that at times, you know. And it's just like that. It's no easy task to do. Especially, you know, like I said, there's a lot of times where we have moved at the same, same frequency or same current for so long. And then the universe is saying, hey, you got to switch that up. And like, wait a minute, what? Then <laughs> you have to switch that up. And you know it's kind of hard at times for you to be able to do that because you've been moving at a certain race, a certain pace at, for so long, a certain frequency, a certain vibe. Now it's telling you, hey, it's time for you to upgrade. And you can tell all these different things is going on because everything is moving at a heavy rate. You're seeing every time you turn around, it's some it's some mess, it's some drama. Or you're seeing where it's, it's, it's heightening everything about you. Like right now, it's like I'm going to hot, cold, hot, cold. feel like I'm too young to be going through a change. And it's like this, when I tell you ascension is really hitting me right now like I'll get cold one minute I'm drinking hot tea one minute the next time I gotta get me some cold tea or some cold freezing cold water because it's just like I'm like oh my god this is just too much and it, it's just like so many different things is taking place we're on that change all these downloads is coming in and it'll be different things where you know things is giving you the aha moment like oh okay this is why that happened the clarity is taking place you know different things are being illuminated to you the truth is coming in so many different ways where the enemy don't want you knowing that or certain things that you just know and you just don't say nothing you keep moving all these different things is taking place into your life where you having to really like it's like you playing catch up with your own life and a lot of that mess is crazy but it's at that point there you know universe wouldn't be giving you that standpoint or giving you that notification if they didn't think you can be a 
able to do it. And this is at that time where the tongue you believe in yourself more than you believe in yourself before. You know, look at all the different things that you have overcome. Look at all the different things you have conquered. Look at the different things that you done stepped forward and you didn't know how you were going to be able to do it. But some kind of miracle popped by that because you got so many different things to stand in around you and so many different things is protecting you. You know, you got your guides, you got your spirit guides, you got your archangels, you got your angels that are assigned to you, you got people that passed away that's watching over you. You got people that are standing by you you didn't even know that was there. You know, you are I mean they're speaking a lot about you up there and you know in the upper room. You got a lot of people that are standing by you and they know the things that you're facing. It is not easy. That's why they keep on assigning all these people to you. You know, or different things that's happening where they're telling you, hey, make this switch. Because they're telling you anything that's coming to your gut feeling, like if it's telling you, hey, to stop hanging out with that person, they ain't meaning any kind of good to you. I don't care what they, how long you done known them, how long y'all been ace boom coons, they've been ride or die, they've been going back like four flats, you know, on, on, on a daggone donut. You got to be able to let them go. Or if there's certain things that's telling you, hey, don't trust that person. Don't be up in here telling your business like that. You need to be quiet. Or there'll be certain things that you may text somebody and they're telling you, didn't we tell you not to do that? You can be calling somebody because you may need to vent. All of a sudden, the daggone phone call gets disconnected. Every time y'all try to call, there's like a buzzing noise or it'll be different things that'll take place. You know, I was trying to call my cousin the other day about some stuff. I ain't talked to her in a long time. I was like, oh, you know, I'm just catching up with you or whatever. And it was like, universe like, no. No, I'm like, that man, that was my, my cousin. Like, me and her used to go back in the day. Like, that was my ace. Anything that pop off, you know, I'll call her. Or anything that's going down around the family, that's what we do. And it was just like, no, this ain't that day. This ain't going to be that time. You're going to have to just do all this on your own. I'm like, hey, y'all cold. You know, y'all really cold. I just want to be able to. I ain't talked to none of my family in a long time. It was just like, I don't even really talk to family. But it's just like, when I do, you know, it was like, no, you can't do that. So I had to be okay, and I had to be able to understand there's reasons for that. A lot of times they ain't going to let you know the reason, but they always say rejection is your protection. You know, if you're feeling something in your gut that's telling you ain't something ain't right about certain people, it don't matter if they've been in your life for umpteen years. It could be your husband, it could be your wife, it could be your mama, your, ba your daddy, your baby mama, your baby daddy. You know, all these different people. It could be your siblings, you know, all, some kind of family members is telling you, hey, you know, you were that one to make infinite change in your life, and some of them weren't picked, and they were trying to understand why they weren't picked. So they trying to, you know, really trying to get into that. And so when people say you should have picked me, and it shouldn't have been her, or it shouldn't have been them, or some stuff about to pop off with them because they really want that that light that you have, or that spotlight you're about to get, or whatever. You know, these are the different things you're making that swift change that you got to be very strategic and very quiet about. Because there's a lot of things that people keep the cigarettes from about you. <laughs> the people playing it out for you, there will be a lot of things. It, it can be like you think you know, and it can go so much deeper than that. You know, and I'll you know, be those different things. There'll be a different time where, oh, this is, why do I feel like this is going get, to get so deep? This may make me sick to my stomach about the different things that's going on behind my back. Next, you know, all hair is going to pull up and like, be God dang. You're like, damn, is it like that? Yeah, it's like that. You just don't know. Different things are coming in. When you start moving for self and self only, everybody doing what's best for them. Now it's time for you to be doing what's best for you. And you have to be able to be like that. You may have been that one that's always been for the crew. You took one for the team. You know, and it, now it's that time. It's like you see everybody's for self. Now it's time for you to be for yourself too. You know, when you're thinking about self and you're making decisions based on self, there will be a lot of different things where you're moving in certain ways that other people can't go on that journey with you. Even when you want them to be, there'll be just certain things where they're telling you your blessings is blocked just because you're telling that person too much. Or that blessing is blocked because you keep hanging with that person so much. That blessing is blocked because you see that every time you're trying to get away from this person, that person is still trying to weasel their way back into your life. That person, even they know. They know there's so many different ways they know you're not supposed to be a part of that person's life. Go focus on you. Go mind your business. Leave that person alone. And people still don't want to do it. God will be like, okay, I can show you better than I can tell you. And it is at that point right now. Even with you, it comes with, even with you. You do not want God and universe to tell you to do, make you do something. Because if they make you do it, oh, hell about to break loose. I done seen that happen way too many times. I'm like, yes, oh, boss. <laughs> okay, you ain't got to tell me too much. And I'm going to go sit back. You know, I'm going to just go ahead and sit back and let, let it do what it do. Because a lot of times I'll be like, Medea. I'm like, karma and God is working a little bit too slow for me. I got to get it right now. And then next, you know, I found myself trying to find bail money because I don't sit up here and did some stuff. Then we tell you to go sit down somewhere. 
You're like, yeah, but you take I don't care what we do. You don't know what we got going on by here. You don't know what we trying to collect. We don't know you don't know what kind of changes we trying to make before this come out. We know you impatient because you getting tired of these folks getting away with stuff. Now you gotta go sit over here. And now you got extra time to be over here. Now you done got had to get some money and go pawn some stuff just because of something that your butt didn't want to listen to. We told you we got you. And it'd be like the only person you can blame is yourself. You say it, you know, even though it'll be different times when you're going through making moves and stuff like that and you get angry because there's so many different times folks is doing stuff and they're doing a little bit too much and they ain't getting caught up just because you don't see it don't mean that they ain't going through stuff. Because a lot of times if God is like, if you, it, sometimes you can feel it more than you can see it, you know. And there'll be different times. It's just like, just because you don't see it, don't think that they ain't going through some stuff because they, they know the reason why. Because they always tell you, if we tell you, you know, it, what comes around goes around, doing all that mess. And it'll be at that point where they say, God will, when God have to keep reminding them to leave you alone, they keep doing, they will, they will rearrange their harvest to anything that's popping off in their life. They're going to know exactly the reason why it's popping off because of a certain person that they will allow themselves to refuse to leave alone. They don't know exactly the reason why. They know. <laughs> they know why. But you're going through your different things where you are, move, you are that force is moving viciously. This is at that time where I know it may be brand new for you where you're actually making moves where it's doing best for you. There'll be different times where you stop talking to people, you stop texting people. It's like you don't even have to give this long gated explanation on why you did it. I remember people used to do that with me. I'm like, if you didn't want to talk to me that's more, no more, that's fine. You ain't had to give me no explanation. That means it's like our you know, our time has just expired. Or it'll be different things where I feel like where people keep bringing up my past and stuff like that and ain't even going about that, but you want to keep breaking it up. I'm just like, okay, well, we already see where y'all mindset is so I'm going to let you be right exactly where that past is in that past I got to keep moving I got to be able to do this I don't have time for all that or I see where different people are just uh, downright trying to do different things to keep me stuck in a low vibration or you trying to block blessings I got to go you know whatever's good for you whatever's good in the hood for you go ahead but I'm moving forward I got better bigger better things that I'm going through and I already see right here where universe is showing me I need to cut you off or there's different things where you know maybe you, you've been trying to get in touch with somebody or you've been trying to call or they come by or you go by either they're not answering the door or you don't see them anymore or you text and they don't respond back or you know the call failed or something like that. it's showing you right there that person is not needed in your life stop trying to reach out to towards that person because that is already cut off your that rejection is for your protection keep moving keep doing you you know allow yourself to keep moving forward you know all these different things is taken off in a way they are not expecting that from you you know they're not expecting that from you because different things will pop off into your life to where you know you make may make one swift move and boom you know your blessings the opportunity open people are like what the how did that happen? You know we did that. And this is the reason why. Because that person moved in silence. You don't know what they were doing. Universe was guiding them because they already seen exactly what traps you were trying to put up. Because you were trying to make sure this person to get their blessings. They worked hard for it. Just like you worked hard to try to keep it from them. They worked hard to try to get it. And we're going to go ahead and allow them to have it. And whatever you were doing is going to add on towards you 20 times fold. All these daggone different things people are having is adding towards them where it's being shown. Anything you're doing towards somebody else that's not going towards their greater purpose is only going for your selfish purpose. It's going right back towards you. But whatever you added towards their life to try to hurt them, hinder them, take them out, doing you about to feel it 20 times more or 50 times more or even 100 times more. It just depends on how many times they had to keep on telling you to stop. You know, so it's all those different things where everything is working the way it needs to be. It's like everything is unfolding exactly where it needs to be wherever you're at they're telling you you're exactly where you need it to be you know things you don't know what's going on behind the scenes is going but it's just like you make the moves that they're telling you to move you know a lot of times when it's when we're making moves it can be scary because we don't know what's around that corner it's natural for us to be that way we don't we, we fear the unknown because we don't know where it's guiding us towards as soon as i said that oh god dog i got chills but it's true there's a lot of times we fear what we don't understand what's going on. We fear to make that move we don't know is coming. Now, if it's different people out on the street that's telling you to make that move, you can be more nervous about that than what universe is. The universe is telling you to keep moving. 
keep moving. We're proud of you. And you know, sometimes it's like you, you're like, man, I don't be feeling that the way y'all keep telling me I'm proud of you. You, you know, I keep doing things that's best for me, and you know, I'm doing everything you do. I don't feel that because the more you, the more challenges you keep coming up. But it, the way they keep saying that when you have those challenges to keep coming that way is about be able to see: Are you ready? Are you prepared for what they have for you? And there's a lot more. A lot of times they say when they're preparing you like that and they keep adding challenges to your life like that it ain't to hinder you it ain't to piss you off it ain't to distract you but it's trying to see are you willing to you you made this decision to stay in that direction where you go are you really prepared for that because we don't put some challenges in to see if you're ready and if you we know you you going against the grain and and just really going for yourself and really allowing yourself to deal with the challenges because a lot of times they're letting you know soul mastery your, your challenges or your circumstances may not have changed, but you're dealing with them in a crazy way. You're dealing with them a different way. That's letting you know your soul is healing. You know, we don't have control over how things unfold like that. You know, the only thing we have control over is how we're dealing with it, how we're talking about it, how we're moving about it. They know it's not easy. You know, you can tell the universe, you know, I feel this way and this way and this way, but I'm trusting what you say, but this is how I feel about it. That's okay. But you're being, you're being obedient and you're moving in that way. You know, and that's all they want you to do. Be able to trust the process, even though I hate that word. You know, I really trust the process. Be patient. I'll be like, you really want me to tell you what I feel about that? <laughs> do you see what's going on in my life and you ask me to trust the process and be patient? You know, I'm like, no, I feel like I'm in the middle of a duck hunt. You know, anybody ever know a Super Mario duck hunt? You know, I didn't really tell them my age. But you already know what it is. Ping, ping. You know, it's like one of those situations. I can't be patient during that mess. But, you know, it, it is what it is. I already know I'm protected. I know I'm being guided. And it's heading me towards a better purpose that I never knew that was possible. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of the video. You know, anybody who's been showing support, thank you for that. It's truly appreciated. Like I said before, I leave all my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking, being able to give you that deeper understanding, your past purpose on why certain things is taking place, you know, um, being able to understand why things unfolded the way it did. If the universe is guiding me towards that insight to be able to pass on to you, I try my best to be able to do that. Whatever we speak on is highly confidential, and I help out the best way I can. If you be in a part of my um, videos, I mean, uh, being a part of my channel and stuff like that, you go to the community section of my videos, as well as my, you know, my lives and d different stuff like that and the shorts that I put out. I put out a lot of those. I haven't put none out in a minute, you know, because I've been, you know, stepping back behind the scene and, you know, working on myself behind the stuff. But um, I've been putting out my podcast, you know, different posts, you know, certain things that's going on through tremendous change, you know, the full moons and stuff like that. Things being illuminated right now. They're telling you you're seeing the true intentions of a lot of people, the motives behind different things. They've got gut feeling intuitive telling you that it's not lying to you no matter what people are telling you you go by your gut intuitive and your intuition don't be going off of what people are saying because you can be right dead on the money and people trying to convince you of something that's totally opposite of what you're feeling so you go by what you're what you're being illuminated what's being shown to you and how the actions to be able to take that and go ahead and do that but also i give that out you know as well as the um different uh things to look out for the different omens and stuff like that you know i put out a hoodoo thing you know if you you know you burn yourself in certain places is what the enemy's doing you know i was like dang i forgot that i had that let me put that out there because i know a lot of people are doing mirror magic and all this different stuff so it's being able to tell you it's like if you see more than one one raven or one crow you know in, in a certain period of time it's like you know people doing some ill will wishes on you and stuff like that so i got creole and spanish in the back of my family and all that crazy mess be going on but you know just to be able to share that with other people you know be able to let you know fyi this is what's going on in your your life that people are trying to do to you so i'll just be able to try to put that out there um and what else uh you know whatever you're needing to be able to stay on your your purpose you know what we're doing is not easy there'll be a lot of different things in into your life where it'll make you feel like you want to give up you know like things are getting too hard no matter what i keep doing you know it, it just doesn't feel like things are getting any better you don't know we have to be able to keep reminding ourselves we don't see everything that's making moves behind our back you don't know what god and universe is planning out for us especially when they see that the enemy is trying to stay heavy on your back on trying to make things not come in good for you you don't know what's being you know you don't know what corners and, and currents is being 
crossed and connected for you. So you keep going. Never give up on yourself. That's what the enemy and the devil wants you to do. You have that high potential and that light that is really needed. And your purpose is really needed at this time. Anytime you're going through this, we, we're, we're wanting change in the world, but it starts with us first. So you keep going. No matter if you have to take a pause for the cause, you do that, but you come back stronger than you did and you fell off on a horse. You got to always get back on that horse. So you keep moving. So I'm sending all whatever you're needing, patience, you know, uh, uh, confidence, you know, strength, whatever that you're needing. I'm sending it a million times full towards yourself. Stay, stay away. Never sleep on yourself. So, you know, even through social distancing, make sure that you are giving out much love, light, you know, upliftment, whatever it is that can really truly take some out a long way. And just because you're doing that for love and light and, you know, prosperous purpose for other people is going to take you even further. And if you feel generous enough to drop a donation, Cash App is there as well. So I hope you enjoyed your holiday and your weekend. Please be safe and, you know, responsible with everything you do. Sending so much love, prosperity, you know, success towards your way throughout the days, your minutes, your hours, especially your weeks, months, and years. So sending that towards your way. So much love. God bless. Namaste. Shalom. I say peace. Much love.